Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, 7.30. Um, I just got done taking Shadow out to use the bathroom and I'm putting together my overnight oats. Um, I just put my pecans on top here and gonna put that in my lunch box to eat. I eat this every morning, Monday through Friday, and it is wonderful. If you have not made overnight oats, you need to give them a try. They're amazing. Um, putting my leftovers in my lunch box. I made a little, um, some chicken in the crock pot last night just with the like, um, hot wing sauce on there. It's one of my favorite things to make and Shadow is eating her breakfast, sorry. Um, it's been interesting. I guess it was an interesting night or whatever. John was out of town. And it's the first time he's been out of town since we've gotten Shadow in March. And she's very fond of him, so I was kind of nervous of how it was going to go. But it was, it was okay. Um, I didn't sleep much last night. She was up. She got up once, and you would think with having a whole side of the bed um, with nobody in it, she would just sleep over there. But she was, like, on me. So that's okay um we're surviving so got to get on the road to work and i have a hair appointment after work today so that is fun i guess still got some of my coffee that i need to finish drinking don't think so when i get my hair done i don't think i'm going to put any blonde in it i think i'm just going to have her do a few um dark pieces and see i'm just i'm trying to get away from putting blonde on my hair right now so we'll see how that goes i'm not sure what will end up happening all right i just got home from the gym it is saturday i have no idea what i have even filmed this week not much i don't i can't even remember if i showed you my hair after i got it done if I didn't, I'll try and put in a picture here. But I drug myself to the gym this morning. It's 12.30, so. Um, didn't really want to go. Only got to go. That was only my second time this week. So I hadn't done very good this week. But it was a very busy week at work. And um, I'm only working one day next week. So that is very exciting. Um... But now I've got to clean the house. It is absolutely, I don't guess it's too bad, but the floors are filthy. Shadow has got mud all over the place where it was raining some this week. So got lots to do. Last night, I literally did not do a thing. I laid on the couch. I took a, I think I took a nap like right before bed or something. I was exhausted and just laid on the couch and had some leftover Chick-fil-A for dinner. I ate three Chick-fil-A sandwiches yesterday. That is an absolute record. Never That has never happened before. Um, so just a very chill night, which is fine. And probably won't do anything tonight. Just watch a movie maybe. I was going to go to the grocery store when I left the gym, but I just couldn't. I was like, I can't do it. I could either go left out of the gym and go to the grocery store or go right and go home. And I literally, like, I was going to go left. And then I was like, there's too much traffic. I just went right and went home. Uh, there's so many people out right now. It's crazy. Um, I just saw it the other day. Like, I have not even showed my Christmas decor. I know I think I showed the front porch, but I haven't showed anything else. I don't have much of anything, honestly. It's very simple. But obviously, there's my tree. So I'll try and do that maybe after I clean the house. Just do a quick little tour of my Christmas decor. <sighs> I'm tired. I ate eggs before I went to the gym, so I don't know that I'm going to eat anything much after um, the gym. I'm not really that hungry. But going to try and knock some stuff out here at the house. Okay, I just pulled into Starbucks. I know I just had coffee, um, but I'm going to 
to get some groceries this morning and I'm right here so I thought I would get one last night I was looking on the app I don't know if anybody else does this but I'll just look at the Starbucks app and like look at what I would want to order the next time I go show you what, I, what I'm getting I've never gotten this particular thing before um, it's just espresso with it's a double shot of espresso with a splash of heavy cream and some toffee nut on ice so I hope it's good okay so here it is um, I've never done this before but you when when you actually order a medium drink but you get it in a venti cup a venti which is a large with extra ice it doesn't cost any extra it's just in a bigger cup with more ice so it's almost like you get more drink so we're going to try this it looks amazing so this actually has three shots of espresso in it. I thought it was a double, but when I looked at the app, it said it's three. Oh wow, that's really strong. I probably should have changed that just to two shots. I didn't realize that. I always mess something up every single time. <laughs> I'm not a professional Starbucks drink order. It is really good though, but it's very, very strong. Okay, I just pulled up to Ulta. So I've got to run in here and get a gift card for somebody really quick and then I'm gonna to go to Publix. Um, we are actually gonna make gumbo tonight. It's something that John makes. It's so good, we had it, we haven't had it since maybe I don't know whenever it was cold last time which is a long time ago um so i'm just going to get this stuff for that and just a few other things that we are out of um it's going to be a short week as far as working so i'm not going to buy a whole bunch of stuff to make because i feel like it would probably end up getting wasted so just going to go and get that stuff done and then get back home For a little while I made me some breakfast and I ended up putting some of my vanilla creamer in here because I just couldn't it was just way too strong so I don't know if it's a double or a triple because the thing the order says it's a double but when you're on the app it says that there's three shots in there so I'm not really sure I'm probably going to get another one in the morning because I'm going to work super early on Monday. And I like to try and get a Starbucks on Mondays um, when I go in really early if I can. So I'm going to try and order it again and on the app change it to two shots and see if it tastes any different. Um, but yeah, it's really good now that I put the vanilla in there. And I also might do a pump of vanilla syrup next time too. But anyway, so I'm just going to quickly show you my Christmas um, decor. It's not a lot, but <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick. And I did clean my house yesterday, even though it looks like I didn't, but I can't. I don't have the energy to pick it up again. So I'm just going to start right here in the front. Um, with a few things and this is a wreath that I got at Kirkland's this year so it is a new 
item that I picked up and I love that. It's just very cute. And I only got one little thing in here in the bathroom. And this is a old thing that I have from TJ Maxx and I just filled it up with a few things. And I love filler. Um, this, I think I might've got this at like at home or something and then the other items are just old that I've got already or I've already had. And I got this from Kirkland's earlier this year um, and just got some of the filler in there. There we go. It didn't know what to focus on, I don't think. Okay, so the fireplace, I have my sign from Kirkland's, an old wreath, and these two little deer that I have gotten from Hobby Lobby several years ago are honestly like my favorite piece of decor every year. There's just something about them that is just so cute and I love them so much so I've had those for like four years probably now um, but there's a better look at the sign and our tree is very basic um, so we wanted to get another tree this year but we didn't when we set it up like a middle section of the lights is out um, but we didn't get a new one this year. We just got a strand of lights and just put them around the tree in the middle. I had every year I have these things that I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this or go out shopping and see all this cute stuff. But I never actually buy it because I just want it to be very quick to put up and quick to take down. And I don't have... A ton of room to just store a whole bunch of stuff so it's very simple around here and this is a new thing I got this year got that at Hobby Lobby it's just a big snowflake um, and then these two little things are also new this year from Hobby Lobby they were too cute um, not to get it's just little angels wooden angels and they were five dollars a piece with 50% off they were like basically giving them away so I'm like how do I not get that and then just this little tree that's old from Hobby Lobby too and kind of my favorite thing every year is just the staircase this garland is from Hobby Lobby um, this I can't remember if this is the second or third year that we have used this garland because when me and John first got together, he had just regular plain garland that we actually weaved in and out between every other thing here. And we also had lights that we would weave in and out of every single um, thing. But it was really a pain in the butt to put up and it was just old garland that was kind of worn out. So I wanted to update it and get something a little bit nicer. And I got this at Hobby Lobby several years ago. And it's got the little pine cones and little berries on there. But I absolutely love the staircase. It's just such a pretty um, focal point, I guess you could say. But yeah. We could make it again we could make that more like festive with bows or something like that but again don't really have the energy to actually do it um and then we've got this little outdoor tree that we bought i think maybe last year again because we have two on our front porch that are older and last year i think they went out but John fixed them and we just had this one out there on the porch last year. But this is a really nice one from Hobby Lobby. Um, love that. And just kind of put that basket of pillows and blankets there. And just this. I had it. I had those two things sitting down by the TV, I think. And so when we put our tree up, I had to move them. And them up here but this is really cute too and that is it <laughs>
not a lot but it's so much work to put it up and take it down I just like to keep it as simple as possible and again I don't have a ton of room to just store a whole bunch of stuff we have the gumbo going um, already John got that together and it smells wonderful Try and give you a little sneak peek here. Looks amazing. So we're gonna have that. I'll go ahead and just turn it off and just let it see it. So that's tonight's dinner. And I got these really yummy looking French hamburger <laughs> buns to eat with it. Looks amazing. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here and just kind of mop my floors again. I mopped them yesterday. And if you have a big dog in your house, you might can relate, but there is literally mud all over the floors again. Where it's been raining a, a little bit, it's just so nasty out. And every time she goes out, it's just mud. And I've never had a um, big dog and as far as shedding she sheds a lot anyways but I think she is actually I guess blowing her coat right now I know I've heard that I've never experienced it but I'm pretty sure that she is just in the last I, I would say after Thanksgiving the amount of hair is just increased which is crazy because she sheds like crazy anyway but it is very difficult I'm just gonna mop in the kitchen again really quick I've still got my bucket out and my mop I'm just gonna throw some water on it and <laughs> hit the floors really quick and I'm going to finish my coffee so ordered this at 10.05 10.05 it's 12.45 right now so I've still got this big old thing I know this was another very exciting week in my life um, but I will start another one tomorrow and next week is Christmas so that is very exciting and I will see you guys in the next one bye